Uh, I want to congratulate uh, the Iranian women uh, in this uh, in this Women's Day, uh, and to congratulate all women in general on the on the and uh, on, on this uh, Women's Day, eighteen uh, of March, and uh, but specifically uh, with the Iranian women because of their struggle uh, of fighting a brutal uh, and uh, misogynist regime. Uh, the main uh, problem, uh, the main problem that uh, the Iranian women are facing and the rest of the Iranian people, uh, too, that this regime is a the theocratic ideologic regime. Uh, what most countries in the West couldn't comprehend that Iran under the Khomeini regime is an Islamic revolution first and an Islamic republic second. So, and this was clear even from the election. Uh, the election, or in other words, the selection of Ibrahim Raisi to the presidency is evidence that the state exists to perfect the revolution. It's not the revolution to perfect the state, it's the other way around. He was selected because his qualifications are compatible with the supreme leader, uh, Ali Khamenei requirements, not only for being a president, but also as a potential successor. His uh, commitment to the, uh, to the revolution is clear. We all know Raisi's history when he worked in the in Iran's judicial system as prosecutor in the early 1980s and oversaw the, de the deaths of thousands of political prisoners. So accordingly, that's why we see this brutal treatment of people and women who want to modify the system because change here means the end of the system. So it's not only if, if that was a regular political regime, not, uh, not ideologue or theocratic, they might take it because what women are asking are asking for their basic rights. But they couldn't take it easily because they know that this is going to be a shake into the whole uh, um, revolution system. So when women in Iran are asking for freedom of choosing one's clothing, for example, which is a very simple uh, right, uh, it is dangerous to the regime because hijab is not only obligatory in Islam, according to them, according to them but it, it is an ideological symbol of the revolution. So changing that image uh, of how the mullahs want women to look like means shaking the revolutionary system. Uh, system. So that's why um, here they are brutal uh, towards women when they ask for simple right like this. Um, accordingly, I congratulate uh, again Iranian women for their bravery because they are not only fighting a brutal misogynist regime, but a rigid, a rigid ideological regime that considers any modification or change towards women's rights even in simple requirement as the freedom of choosing women's clothing means end to its revolution stance. We all here support Iranian women in the struggle. Uh, it is not easy struggle, uh, this is a fact, but uh, definitely it needs a global support and with this support, Iranian women can fulfill its goal. And happy Women's Day again.